Hey guys, official phone rebel here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to route your Samsung Galaxy S3 from any carrier. Now, this will not work on the i9300 international version, but for every carrier here in the United States, including Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, this will work. Also, it will work on Rogers in Canada. And just to show you guys, I am running the latest 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich firmware for the S3. I do have a Verizon Galaxy S3, and for us Verizon owners, we will have to take one extra step in order to to unlock our bootloader in order to complete the route. But overall, this is one of the easiest and fastest routes you can do. It'll work on any carrier, and of course, it is completely free and safe. Also, make sure that in settings, your USB debugging is enabled. So in developer options, go ahead and select that. Otherwise, make sure your Galaxy S3 is plugged in. And on our desktop, we will need to download two things. So first up, down below, you need to download these two files. Of course, your Galaxy S3 routing package that we will be using, it will be in a .zip. Go ahead and unzip it into a folder call it whatever you like and this is a folder we will actually need and the other file down below will be your Samsung drivers for your Galaxy S3 most of you will have them installed not all of you so I made sure to include that down below in the description now go ahead and open the folder you extracted the files to and bring up your phone's memory and you want to drag superuser.zip into either your internal or SD card memory I'm gonna put it into my phone memory and that's it so you want to close out of your phone memory and we're gonna run the Odin file that's found in the folder and before we do anything on Odin you want to make sure power off your Galaxy S3 as we will be entering download mode right now. And once your S3 is completely off, go ahead and hold the volume down, the home, and the power buttons all at the same time, and continue to hold them until you reach the following screen. Now once you get this, press the volume up button, and it'll continue into download mode. Now you can set this aside, and we're going to head over to Odin. Now this is what Odin will look like once you do open it, and over here if you see this text and yellow bar, that means all drivers are good, your phone is ready to have its recovery flashed. Now we're going to select PDA down here, and open the folder where you put all your stuff you will either see a .tar or .md5 file go ahead and open it up select start now this will take just a couple seconds and over here you will see that it will finish once that's done we will be rebooting into clockwork recovery now the last step to this rooting process will be from your galaxy s3 so you want to go ahead and power it off again this time we will be rebooting into recovery mode once again once completely off go ahead and hold the volume up button the home and the power all at the same time and your phone will reboot into clockwork recovery recovery mod. Now your custom recovery clockwork mod will look just like this and you want to scroll using the volume button, using the power button, select install zip from SD card and then since mine is on the internal card I'm going to scroll up and go choose zip from internal SD card. Select it and select superuser.zip and then scroll to yes and this will take just a second. Once it is finished you're going to go ahead and reboot your device so go back, reboot system now and you will reboot to a fully rooted device. Now once rebooted if you go to your apps you will see a new app called Super SU, and this basically means you are now rooted. Now if you do have a Verizon Galaxy S3, you will need to download an app from the Play Store called Easy Unlock, and by using it, you can unlock your bootloader to fully complete the route. For everybody else, you are completely rooted on Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4 on your Galaxy S3. So I do hope I helped you guys root your Galaxy S3. I try to make this video as simple as possible. I know how complicated guides can be out there. So please like and favor this video. It will help me tremendously. Of course, comment if you guys have any any questions and subscribe for many more Android videos to come. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Have a great day guys. Peace.